Hey everybody, Jim Chester here, Cairo Hustle at Cal Jam 2013, Costa Mesa, California. You came over here from Carlsbad. That's not too far, right? No, probably about, uh, I don't know, hour up the road, something like that. North, south, one of those directions. All right, so <laughs> we are here supporting Billy D and Mary Jane with their chiropractic culture, which is called California Jam. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, um, you know, I've been coming here probably about seven years. Um, it's always one of those things. I came here as a student originally. My wife and I did, Dr. Tanya Williams. And uh, when we were students, I just remember like being in this culture, being in this atmosphere, and really just, we were like, wow, this is like the, the best of the best. This is the A-team of chiropractic. Um, and just really blown away by how gracious the people are. Um, but not only that, just Billy's just really on the forefront of, of a revolution within the profession and really trying to get um, you know just really drip on all sorts of different people from a from a market standpoint to to really get the word out there about what we do about innate intelligence and man I just love it absolutely love and it. let's talk about that I know chiropractic speaking there's a huge chiropractic component to this event yeah. but what else is he doing to like infuse chiropractic messaging through other influences well, you know, like I was listening to, um, gosh, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, he was like the third speaker up, and he was talking about a lot about innate intelligence, but he was talking about fasting and um, eating certain things in your vibration. And he mentioned innate intelligence like over and over and over again. So here you have this kind of like dietary um, fasting type digestive message, but there's innate intelligence all up in it. The guy's at Cairo, and I just love hearing stuff like that, you know? Yeah, I think it's really cool, too. And... You've been here to several of these. Absolutely. Um, let's talk a little bit about your experience with the vendors here and how he like builds up other like congruent like uh, businesses with his brand. Well, you know, um, I got the uh, I got the Vox socks last year, <laughs> right? Um, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm always trying to do something new. I always get a, a, a Cal Jam T-shirt. Um, you know. I can't think of a year we haven't been up to like the third floor to get adjusted, utilizing the tables, stuff like that. Um, so just kind of being able to mingle with people, like network, um, you know, I just think it's, it's golden. Because as a student, to be able to meet these people that you're going to step into um, and step into the profession, I know it was one of the big reasons why my wife and I just felt really established um, the moment we became doctors because we had, we had that background with people. We already had these relationships built. I know off camera I asked you a little bit about like mentors. Yeah. You're like, whoa, I don't know really, but you had a chance to like process that a little bit. Um, why is it so important for young DCs to have good mentorship? Well, I think that, you know, there's a component you're taught in school, but it's like any profession. Um, I, I mean, it's practice. You're out there, you're doing it. And to learn from people that have been in the trenches, <laughs> I mean, it's invaluable. It's invaluable. And, and I know Dr. Michael Hatrack. Um, was a big one of mine. He's probably the reason I got into the profession. Um, Dr. Dennis Cerrone, Norm Colby, Guy Reekman. Um, those were some of the big ones for me um, that really shaped me and, and, and the way I think and, and really how I practice today. Well, uh, I know this guy has a uh, pretty cool appell here. Talk, <laughs> talk to me about this and like the community that you serve. Yeah, so we're probably about 15 minutes. We're a beach town in Carlsbad, California. Um, and we serve a lot of Marines. I'm a former Marine, got out in 2002. You know, I was telling Jim, Jim, we got that, that baby soft skin there, right? <laughs> so, so, so we both look like we're in our 20s, basically, or that's what we'll tell ourselves, right? And, uh, you know, but I got out of the Marine Corps in 2002, and we're probably about 15 minutes away from Camp Pendleton. So just get to serve a lot of veterans, Army. Um, I've got some Marine Corps Special Forces, Recon Marines. Um, and to do that, it's just an honor. It's an absolute honor. Plus, you get to serve within chiropractic. Yeah, 100%. So, so you're on the front lines again. Absolutely. You get a chance to check and adjust regularly when necessary, and you get a chance to serve people that are keeping this country's borders safe. 100%, 100%. And, uh, you know, it's always an honor to do that. You know, whether you get a firefighter, police officer, um, you know, I even, you know, I always tell teachers, like what teachers do and, and even pregnant moms, man, those are the most under, you know, recognized uh, cause, uh, group out there because pregnant moms, man, they're just, they're in the trenches every day. You and know? it's like family heroes, yeah. you know, Every, everybody has like that, like cape that they can wear, <laughs> whether it's somebody that's like learned how to like be in combat yeah. or somebody that's like taking care of like the home front. Absolutely. Like there's all types of levels that people that we should be paying attention to with chiropractic services. Um, 
So we talked a little bit about influence. We talked a little bit about uh, Mary Jane and uh, Billy D for putting this on. Let's just share a little bit more admiration to Billy D and Mary Jane for bringing this all together. Yeah. So um, first of all, I, I love both of you. I mean, um, what you guys have done for the profession, uh, just amazing human beings. I mean, the selfless sacrifice year after year um, to create this culture, to create this revolution and this movement um, to help people, um, to bring chiropractors in. I mean, I remember when I when my wife and I were students, and this is like circa like 2011 or whatever it was, right? And we're, we're, like, we're like coming up here and, and we didn't have the money to go. Um, and I remember Dr. Alan Lovejoy and a group of docs got <laughs> together and we happened to be one of the recipients of, of one of the like scholarships or whatever, flight and everything included and whatever. And, and you know, uh, Dr. Billy and Mary Jane just, just welcomed us with open arms. And so I, I just can't say thank you enough. That's awesome, man, because there's been a couple times where I brought like chiropractic students out and bought their yeah. rooms and bought their tickets for awesome, them, man. just yeah. because I know that that's the thing that will perpetuate the future. And then we were talking about that, too. Like, you're in that bubble between yeah. like zero to like 10 years of practice, yeah. and you're like the future, man. But well, like thanks, man. The, the people that are in the trenches right now going through school, they've been a part of that for like seven years, man. And then they get to your point where they're out, out of practice for six or seven years, and then that's 14 years in the profession. Okay. But we still look at like somebody that's been as like a new grad as like first year in practice but really you've spent like eight years now to get to that first year yeah 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 it's so interesting how we matriculate <laughs> and and just you know it's all like these just like lessons and and the things we learn and you know it's just it's a journey you know what I've really come to uh, find out and I uh, you know I'm an Alabama football guy so <laughs> I absolutely love Nick Saban right so hopefully nobody will tag this and say down with the the Crimson Tide right <laughs> but you know he really talks about how success is it's not a continuum right it doesn't matter what you did yesterday it's it's what are you doing today and I think health is the same way so. so important, man. Well, with that message right there, if you guys are finding value in this Facebook Live here with uh, Dr. Cordy and myself, hashtag value in the comments there. Um, just hit the share button so other people can see what's happening out here at Cal Jam uh, 2020. This is year number 13. I've been out here to four of these things. So I just want to say thank you once again to the Cal Jam team for co-branding with Cairo Hustle. And if you didn't make it out here to 2020, go to the Cal Jam Network on caljam.org and click on that and buy that seven bucks a month and you guys can watch any of the past Cal Jam speakers any of the events that have been been put on by uh billy and mary jane um click on and become a member of that seven dollars a month club and i don't get anything kicked back out of that i just want people to actually support this culture awesome. and this movement and then the last thing i'll say is if you want you can watch the live footage the live stream by going to that uh, caljam.org as well and with that being said is there anything i didn't touch on that you'd like to talk to our audience about you know i don't really think so um other than just if you haven't been here you need to come um you know i think if you're not if you're not investing in yourself constantly um you're not only doing yourself a disservice but you're doing the profession and your community a disservice so so get your butts here <laughs> sign up for next year um it'll change your life and 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 god bless you and i just appreciate you having me on today thanks brother. appreciate it jim thank you brother well i'm gonna go and close out from costa mesa california this is cal jam 20 20 year number 13 you're just one story away keep hustling we'll see you guys on the next one